NVIDIA shipped a million of these last year to China, right? For context, it was like five, four or five million GPUs, right? So the percentage of GPUs that were this China-specific H20 is quite high, right? Um, you know, roughly 20%, 25%, right? 20% or so. Um, and so this H20 has been neutered in one way, but it's actually upgraded in other ways, mm -hmm. right? And, the, the, you know, you could think of chips along three axes for AI, Right, um, you know, ignoring ignoring software stack and like exact architecture, just raw specifications. There's floating point operations, right? Flops. There is memory bandwidth, um, i.e., and memory capacity, right? Uh, I/O, right? Memory, and then there is interconnect, right? Chip to chip interconnections. All three of these are t t incredibly important for making AI systems, right? Because AI systems involve a lot of compute. They involve a lot of moving memory around, uh, whether it be to memory or to other chips, right? And so these three vectors, um, the U.S. initially had a multi, you know, had two of these vectors controlled and one of them not controlled, which was flops and interconnect bandwidth were initially controlled. Um, and then they said, no, 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 we're going to remove the interconnect bandwidth and just make it a very simple only flops. But now NVIDIA can now make a chip that has, uh, okay, it's cut down on flops. No, it's, you know, it's like one third that of the H100. Right in 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 uh, on spec sheet paper performance for flops, um, you know, in real world it's closer to like half uh, or maybe even like sixty percent of it, right? But then on the other two vectors, it's just as good uh, for interconnect bandwidth, and then for memory bandwidth and memory capacity, the H20 has more memory bandwidth and more memory capacity than the H100, right? Now, recently, you know, we we at our research we cut Nvidia's production for H20 for this year down drastically. They were going to make another two million of those this year, but they just canceled all the orders a couple of weeks ago. Um, in our view, that's because we think that they think they're going to get restricted, right? Um, because why would they cancel all these orders for H20? Um, because they shipped a million of them last year. They had orders in for a couple million this year and just gone, right? For H20, B20, right? A successor to H20. Um, and now they're all gone. Now, why would they do this, right? Um, I think it's, it's very clear, right? The, the H20 is actually better for certain tasks. And that certain task is reasoning. Right. Um, reasoning is incredibly like different than, you know, when you look at the different regimes of models, right? Pre training is all about flops, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about flops. There's things you do, like mixture of experts that we talked about to trade off interconnect or to trade off, you know, other aspects and lower the flops uh, and, and rely more on interconnect and memory. But at the end of the day, it's flops is everything, right? We talk about models in terms of like how many flops they are, right? Uh, so, so like, you know, we talk about, oh, GPT-4 is 2E25, right? 2 to the, tw uh, two to the 25th, uh, you know, two, tw 25 zeros, right? Flop, right? Floating point operations. Um, for training. For training, right? And and we're talking about the restrictions for the uh, 2E24, right? Or 25, whatever. Uh, the US has an executive order that Trump recently unsigned, but um, which was, hey, 1E26, once you hit that number of floating point operations, you must notify the government. And we, you must share your results with us, right? Like there's a level of model where the U.S. government must be told, right? And that's 1E26. And so as we move forward, this is this is an incredibly like important flop is the vector that the government has cared about historically. But the other two vectors are arguably just as important, right? Um, and especially when we come to this new paradigm, which the world is only just re learning about over the last six months, right? Reasoning. And do we understand firmly which of the three dimensions is best for reasoning. 